Is everybody in? Everybody in. Is everybody in? Is everybody in? The ceremony is about to begin. I am your priest, your Sherpa, your shaman. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am your brother. I'm Santiago Gonzalez Aragon, the Chukoike, a priest in the Church of Chukanismo. Welcome you to the Rock House Chapel theater, gallery, cafe. There's many things that happen in this roof. I'm here so much, it has become my religion. I am married to my art, very religious about it. I grew up Catholic, not very happy about it. <laughs> so I made my own religion. All are welcome, no matter what, unless you're stupid. <laughs> The Rock House Church is prejudiced only against ignorance. Yeah. But all of you look very smart. I welcome you. Amen. There are too many things that we fear, except La Llorona. <laughs> yes, I got to go on about her. I'm the guy. How many know the story? How many don't know the story? I will brief you on the story. La Llorona is the reason I became a priest. She appeared to me at the age of six at my window. I learned of her story long ago when I was young from my mother and sisters. Her dress used to be white. Her hair black as coal, but not as black as her nights alone. Until she sees the world in color now and thanks her stars above for sending her a blue-eyed man for whom she falls in love. So she stretches out her soiled white dress with her big round belly and her swollen breasts. He comes and goes from time to time. She stays home and multiplies. So he tells the truth to her one day. He loves the kids but cannot stay. He must go back to his old life in his white house with his white wife. Her heart grew cold and black on that day and her mind snapped as she was betrayed. So she takes the kids he loves so dear, brings them to a river near. Under the water, she holds their heads. In the full moonlight, she gets revenge for that a moment of silence. Her sanity returns to fill her with remorse as she begs forgiveness from the Lord, who appears as St. Michael with his sword and curses her to roam the rios and the barrios forever, searching for her lost children and crying out, Ay, mis hijos! Have you seen her? La Llorona lives in Juarez. Every day it's in the news. She fills the river with her tears, and every night she sings the blues. She is not to be accused this time. There's no blood on her hands. She's happy at home in Juaritos, also known as murder land. So Chuco Ponte Trucha, protected by our icons. Mount Cristo Rey has bullet holes, so now he has a gun. La Virgen de Guadalupe is not about to give in. She's become a superhero, a wonder virgin, here to protect you from all that is evil in the borderland, here where I stand. In the name of the Father, and the Son, with the gun, and the wonder virgin, can I get it? Orale? Orale! In this church, we say orale instead of amen, orale. How about this weather? Do you like the wind? That's El Paso rain. There we go again. It's the wrath of God. You ever notice it's during Lent? God reminds us with the wind of the day we killed his son. Weeks and weeks in advance, it rains dirt and there is no sun. 
Trees fall on glass, houses on Good Friday. Dark clouds over morning masses on Holy Saturday. But then clear skies, springtime, Easter Sunday. Do you notice how beautiful a day Easter was? And now look at today, what happened? What did you guys do? <laughs> Pissing off God. Be careful with that. I've had a good year, I've lost a lot of friends and I've had to remember what I tell everybody about the end, that there is no end. Life is only energy and energy never dies. It only changes form. A mother who reminds me of that, my mother, Guadalupano, my Virgen de Guadalupe, I am dirt, rock, clay, from the mountain Tepayet to Cristo Rey. I am a seed from a flower on a tree, and heaven rains and earth sings life into me, and I connect to my mosaic family tree whose roots run deep with history, crossing cultures in the Rio Bravo, sprouting fruits and flowers on both sides, tough bark and thorns to crucify or be crucified on. From the book of Morrison, we are all just waiting for the sun. Sweet, dark, virgin king in your womb, do you pray, do you dance for the color of your skin? I beg, pray for my people, all of your babies, especially the brown ones, conquered, used and abused, uprooted from a land we became orphaned to, identity a song so hard to sing to. Pray for all my sisters, las mexicanas, sweet, beautiful desert flowers who know more than the meaning of pain and struggle and blood, fountains of life. Blood, sweeter than the hummingbird's blood offered to San Antonio with only one request. Love to find her, love to fill her, love to color her the color of the sky, Omateoto, mother father of all gods. Pray for all my brothers, your noble soldiers, who tattoo you on their flesh and bones and paint you on their body or walls and have you in their hearts and homes and praise you as their own key to salvation, justification for the blood of a nation, a manifestation of our destiny. Grandmother Moon, you are the sun who gives us the sun who gives us the sun. Pour your holy water and it rains mother's milk. Every prayer is a flower, every child a thread of silk. In your gown of pink and gold has every story to be told of life, of death, of unity, of a people. Esta es la madrecita que nos regaló el sol y el rey del mundo de ella nació. Ruega, señora, ruega por tus hijos de color. Eres reina de mi vida y de mi corazón. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the God, and the Holy Virgin. Orale.